taking a dump? Ah, why do you care, huh? The fuck is wrong with you? It's Caesar's place, round the corner from your house. The more I see of your boss, the more I like him. If I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh well, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? What the fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent 10 years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or, or, we stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away, the FIB cut you a deal on your sick bed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away, the second he saw you. You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers, I was on the evening news. This is bullshit. This place? Davey, they've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't want to silence him just to make sure? We're silencing someone. We're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. Can I get you anything? Hey, you want a coffee? I have to go again. Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Uh, wait! What are you talking about, the wrong guy? No! Who do you want? Just tell me what you want, huh, man? Ah, uh, please, look at me, please. You'll barely feel a thing. I will! I will! No! No! Not the wrench! I'm rude! The breaker! <laughs> Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tahir Javan. Uh, why didn't you ask me? I know Tahir. Uh, I did his home theater. He lives in Chumash, right into the Western Highway. Oh. Well, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> Did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Chumash, you're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. <laughs> So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. Well, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of him. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job. No casualties. There were more eyes on that town than they needed. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. 
He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. No more car accidents. Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. This'll do. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. Oh, no, no, please. I tell what? you what you Loosen want to do. Loosen him up. No, please. The anticipation is always worse. Really? Oh, uh, I got brittle bone. It's so heavy. Bullseye! <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. Now? Huh? Now? You ready to talk? I need to talk. I got kidnapped. What are you afraid of? No, I mean... So, yeah, 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 this guy we're after, what does he look like? I'm his I'm his Middle-aged. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like you're stalling. This better be enough. Middle-aged, middle-height, middle-build, whatever. He's dark, okay? He's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. That enough for you? We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Half this town looks Eastern, Davy. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. That ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit, I, 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 let me think, I... Ah! Oh, Sorry, too oh, late, oh, Trevor! Show our contestant what he's won today! Oh, 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 okay. oh, wait a minute, I remember! Woo! It ain't even the biggest tool in the room. What? Oh, be gentle. Please don't hit me! No, you, you, you can't! Not! <laughs> So what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 he's got beer. Oh, he's got beer? Uh-huh. I think you're making this up. No, no, I'm not. Huh? No. Yeah? Tell me the truth. Bushy beard? Got any beardy types at this party? Huh? Because that's all Mr. K's given us. No. You know, I'm thinking maybe we ought to just take two bullets and put them in our informant and just call an airstrike on Chumash Beach. I need eyes on that party. Pick up the scope and give me a report. Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Ah, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It's gonna be a long day until you give us some intel on our target. He's a... he's got beer. He smokes. He smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, Chim maybe one more time? Just to be sure. Oh, please, no. Huh? I told you, he, he smokes. That's all I know. Where you want it? No, man! No, no! Not the wrench! I bruised! Breaker! Oh, he looks so peaceful sleeping there. I don't want to wake him. In his heart? What happened? Mr. K. Uh, I, 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 Mr. K. Anything, please. Oh, it's okay. Chain smokes. He's left-handed. What's that? Chain smokes. 
And he's left-handed. Ah, okay. <laughs> Any of these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes, Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Redwood cigarettes. Thank you, Mr. K. Steve's telling me he chain smokes Redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. I'm telling you. Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. I got a good feeling. About well, as good as you can get while clipping a guy who probably don't deserve it. And now I'm taking the shot. Baby, I got someone. Definitely a lefty. Redwood smoking, bearded, maybe, could be. Oh, fuck! Woo, that is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work to the pair of you. Now, I got a racquetball game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's a sport. <coughs> let's go, come on. Thank you, too. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-Man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. Come on. Oh, just torture me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go. Get up. Come on, up the fucking stairs. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Come on. Let's go. All right. Now you got a flight to catch. Okay? Let's get you to the airport. Oh, safety first. How you feeling? I need to get to the hospital. Nah, you're fine. I can assure you I am not. No one likes a crybaby. You look great. Let me see the mirror. I think I need a hospital. You're not going to a hospital. You need to leave. Who are you? And why are you helping me? I told you. I don't like being told what to do. Then why are you working with FIB? I'm a double agent. Yeah? Now who you work for? IAA? The IAA want you dead as well. Don't you remember? The Marshal? Global Pool who? Global Pool? Did you say Global Pool? I work for the forces of sanity. Sanity? And we need you to tell the world what happened to you from the safety of a foreign country, preferably a dictatorship. What do you mean? You've got a message. You are a message, yeah? Okay, look, look, look. I love torture. Torture for the sake of torture? That's my bag. But there are people in our government, in the media, who think that torture is a means to an end. The departures, no one drives me to... Here we be. Ugh. Run. You're free. What, my family's here? Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? And look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Come on. 